All right, so I end each podcast by letting the guests ask me one question. And uh, before I let you do that, I'll give you a second to think. Uh, I have to comment because uh, uh, I have been impressed with your GIF game on Twitter. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Jim is, uh, is quite active on Twitter. And, and over the last couple of weeks, all of a sudden, it's like he discovered the, uh, the GIF feature and has been lighting the Internet on fire. <laughs> and, and I have literally laughed out loud a few times when I've seen the things that you've posted. Well, uh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> Look, I, I think that, um, you know, here's another thing that I've found is that most of the smartest people I've ever met, and I've met a lot of people in my life. I've been very, very blessed and lucky. Most of the smartest people I've met in life have a good sense of humor. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's for two reasons, right? Because a good sense of humor also sees the dark side, right? And so I figure gifts if we can't laugh and have a little fun <laughs> what's you know what, what what what's a day for all right the question that i have for you is why did you abandon your logo that i retagged onto your messages Oh, the, the virus the, is spreading. The virus oh. is spreading. I love that. So the virus <laughs> is spreading with uh, with the rocket. All right. So uh, because you're asking, I will uh, I will let uh, one of my secrets go. Um, so I think of Twitter as a combination between conversations that we're all having on the internet as characters of ourselves, mm. right? Yep. And so uh, if you were to look at Twitter through the lens of WWE, for example, right, right. And I asked you, I said, you know, who is the uh, hero? Who is the, you know, villain? Who is the kind of the, the clowny person? Right. And, and who is the announcer? And, and, and yeah. you could probably say ah, this person kind of fits that, that character. <laughs> right. And, and, and so uh, the first time that I said it, uh, was not intentional in, in kind of any grand plan, yep. but uh, the, the logic. That's often how things go. Of course. The, the logic behind it was uh, everyone's worried about the technology, right? But what, what was fascinating me, and I think you know why I'm drawn to a lot of things that, that you're thinking about, is uh, the psychological um, element of this. It was capturing the mental energy of everyone, yeah. right, across the every industry across every age demographic uh, geogra you know geographic location i mean just everything it's a good meme right it's and, a very good meme and, 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 and it was i was like this is this is viral right in in the sense of kind of from the technology world but it's spreading like a virus because no one can stop it right, right? when a right. product goes viral you can basically pull the plug and, and stop the growth with a yeah. virus yep. a lot of times you can't stop it yep. and, and so uh, i was like you know the virus is spreading and the internet lit up Right. It and and totally I just did. And people kept saying it over and, and over and over were, again. You were off for a little while and you came back and I saw that you didn't have it. And I actually put it on. There. <laughs> you that. I do remember. <laughs> well, well, the reason. So. So when I came I back, like, pump, you're slipping here. Well, well, you so got a tagline. No. So, so there was two things that, as to why. Uh, and it wasn't, again, not even really intentional. But uh, when I took when I took the Twitter break, uh, what I realized was it, it just. Twitter specifically, and, and I was during a drawdown. It was you know through all sure, through all this stuff. Sure, I, I think that a little more sobriety, a little well, more. Well, the pro and the con yeah, of yeah. all of this playing out Actually, digitally, right, yeah, and kind sense. of on Twitter is um, is this idea that uh, somebody can come up with a thought, a thesis, you know, whatever, throw it out into the open. Yeah, and there's people from all walks of life, all perspectives, all levels of success and failure, and they just attack. Right. True. Now, true. The good part of that is the law of attrition takes over. And so the ideas that can withstand those attacks are usually the strongest and have the most merit and and kind of end up persisting over some long period of time. But there's a lot of ideas that never make it through, the, through yeah, that attrition. You know, there's a guy on Twitter who I follow and actually support his work. He's called Mimetic Value. Okay. And he has a really interesting deck about, um, you know, John Campbell's The uh, Hero's Journey. Yep. And how, you know, e every story that we hear is like one of six. <laughs> uh, but he, one of his ideas is there always has to be a scapegoat. And mm. he talks about how the scapegoat, Steve Jobs, mm -hmm. turned into the hero. Ah. And it's really interesting. I'll, I'll send you the link because I think you, you, you'd enjoy following him. For sure. Um, 
tw- Twitter is a uh, is one of the places where again I think human psychology oh, and so. incentives just play out perfectly. You know, it is the world's largest psychology experiment uh, ever conducted. Mm-hmm. And we still don't know how it's going to turn out. <laughs> I, it, Fifty years from now, when they are uh, when they are going through the data and they see your gifts, they're gonna, <laughs> you're going to you're going to <laughs> you're going to throw some sand in the wheels there. 